Okay, y'all, let me tell you something. Hold on, I'm listening to Justin real quick. Justin is one of those YouTubers who I love that he's winning. There was a while there that I had unsubscribed to him, and it was about two years ago where I unsubbed to him. Is when he had made that video being real nasty to, um, was it Michelle, y'all? I can't remember who it was in, you know, reference to. Hold on, y'all, I'm at the line at McDonald's getting JB some food. Then some doctors will say. All right, y'all, I had to leave because that girl. Anyway, um, I know I was all over the place, but I'm still listening to Justin, aka the King of Reads. I like Justin for several reasons. One, I've always liked his content because he's funny as hell. Um, but when they and I'm gonna I'm gonna just name drop because I don't care at this point, girl. When Alex, Sean, and what is his name? James, some other people, I can't remember all they were going back and forth they were each taking their t time turns excuse me dragging justin at one point and he wasn't responded or they'll do stuff like you know and I, I had to actually unsubscribe to um a couple of them well, for them because in my opinion i'll give someone a, a second chance i am like that i'll give you many chances but when i see you consistently being negative and nasty and then your core audience are black women you ain't getting no more of my views. Oh, but excuse me. <clears throat> In the midst of all that drama, that and it 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 feels like it kept coming back, girl. Like a like a herpes rash. You know it's always there. It's staying at bay and it just kept coming back, you know, the drama. And he will sometimes respond to it, but lately he hasn't been. And his platform has grown. He has his podcast with Adrian. Yeah, there's certain things that I do side eye, but over I don't first of all, I don't have to like everything. You don't have to. You don't have to I don't have to watch everything and I don't. But overall I like where he has where he has came. It it kind of reminded me when the drama hit and when I saw how he ignored it and his views still went up, it kind of reminded me of the drama between, oh y'all, this is gonna be old school makeup drama. Can you believe this? Like I'm talking about, I don't even know what year it was, Atia. Do y'all remember Atia? She does, excuse me, she used to do hair. When I first saw her videos, I was, I was still relaxed and I was looking at her regimen for her hair because baby, her hair was banging. Her relaxed hair was banging now. I personally think as she has gotten older and maybe there's some things that have gone on, her hair has kind of thinned out. And she's even said that um, I thought she was, she was one of those naturals that would stretch her relaxers for a while. Overall, her hair was a lot healthier, you know, a couple of years ago. So I, I really haven't checked out her regimen to see what has happened since soon. So, you know, just put that out there. But back to the drama. There was drama between her, um, Muffins is my, is my lovers who I I I I'm, too, I'm subscribed to, but I don't really watch her videos. And she's out here, y'all. Yeah, she lives out here in Phoenix. She moved from New York to Phoenix. So it was some drama between Muffins is my lover, Atia, and remember SP Nation. Now SP Nation is back, and he's in a totally different person now. But at one point, he was making skits about in reference to Atia. Y'all remember that? Tell me I'm not the only one who remembered that. And so it was a hot mess. And when that happened, because Atiyah is, is um is my sister. She's from she's from East Texas. So she lives out in Beaumont, <coughs> which is East Texas. So I sent her an email. It was years ago. I sent her an email email and I was like, you know what? You are real strong. And I, I really do admire your ability to ignore all the drama and stay strong. It was basically an uplift, you know, email, you know. So, you know, she wrote me back and thanked me and said, you know, she's I, if I can remember correctly saying she just remember what her grandma told her about treating people a certain way. And in the midst of all of that drama, her numbers kept going up, you know, back then. And I think shortly after um, April, Memphis since my lover, she had her account hacked. I mean, they cleaned. She could not get it back, and she had to start all over. SB Nation had some issues where he had stopped making videos. And so, yeah, I guess the whole thing I have to say about that is that you reap what you sow. People nasty. I don't believe in being mean and being vindictive. Now, sometimes I can be petty. Yeah, I, I can't be petty, but I do not go out of my way to make fun of someone. <coughs> or to quote unquote drag someone that's nasty why would you do that nasty so anyway y'all let me tell you something these holes are good yes 
I know you see she did she refer to a bag of chips as a whole these lightly salted chips they're 50 percent less sodium let me tell you how much sodium is in them a serving has three percent I'm pretty sure I just had two of those servings so six percent and <clears throat> to give you an example like a bag of Cheetos is 12 percent yeah 12 percent of um, basically when I looked at it, it said like 250 milligrams of sodium this has 75 milligrams they are so good so check out they have them in barbecue they have them in cheddar they have them in regular they need to make them all because I y'all I love me some chips so I'm just gonna warm up a piece of later on because I don't feel like I told my husband we need to go to the grocery store in the morning so he said we'll go in the morning because I'm a girl we need some groceries for the rest of the week um, for the weekend too excuse me um oh y'all excuse me um, I tried on my dresses for him. Yeah, my man, he is not really into it, but I just want to get his feel. So I tried on all the dresses. Well, first I said, I tried on the first dress and I showed him what it looked like. Oh, I didn't even know, I didn't even tell y'all. I have three options still for my reunion, for the reunion, excuse me. So the first one is a, uh, it's like a little cheap dress. I actually bought it from Lea, Lea Gordon, Gordon's store when she had an online store. <laughs> she was selling everything for like 75% off. I got the dress for like five bucks. It looks way more, it looks worth more than five bucks because it's a five dollar dress. So it's made out of a, like a velour velvet type of material. It's pink. I wore it in my um, breast reduction story time towards Andy. Y'all remember that um, pink dress that had the ruffles in the front? It's really cute. Now I some inches because the dress is very big in the back I mean I can fit it and then I put a little black shawl up underneath and I think he liked that the best and then I tried on a second dress I got from ASOS it's a blue navy blue dress I got it in a size 14 it is huge I mean it is I, it will have to be taken in at least two dress sizes so that's that's not happening I'm not even gonna try that and then of course the third dress is the pink dress with all of the um, the different the cut in the front is all pretty the soft pink dress and so um, I told him that I was concerned the only reason why I have another option is that I was concerned that it may get hot in Texas and he said no he you know by the end of September at night it's, it should be okay it should be like in the 70s you know 70s <clears throat> even if it's in like the high 70s he said if anything it'll be humid but my shoulders out so I'll be okay I'm gonna go ahead and take the other dress just in case but yeah yeah I've lost some inches because those other dresses and my shoes you know how sometimes when you lose a lot of weight your shoes fit funny now if I remember correctly I wore those shoes those shoes that I'm wearing I, I wore them to <clears throat> my best friend's wedding what I'm hoping is that you know how when you wear shoes long enough your feet swell up Maybe I'll walk around for a while while um, getting ready so that my feet can kind of swell up and they'll actually fit. I know, ratchet. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to wear my hair for the event. I am going to blow out my hair before we get there. But I'm, I shouldn't even try to do wand curls. Every time I try to do wand curls, <clears throat> with the exception of when I actually did the style tutorial, I run out of time. Um... Yeah, I ran out of time for my wedding. I ran out of time. The hairstyle that I wore for my wedding is not what I wanted. The hairstyle I wore for my best friend's wedding, that is not the hairstyle I wanted. So, <laughs> Yeah, I got everything flipped around on this camera, but it's okay, y'all. We literally just got in. Look, I need to be careful about my surroundings. What's going on with my hair? Um, Saw a key in my mail mailbox and started twerking at the... Girl started doing a little clap at the mailbox because I'm, I got another package and I'm not sure what it is, but I'm excited. And this is the rest of these groceries up. <clears throat> I picked up a pizza. I'm gonna warm myself up a pizza later on because I don't wanna cook. Um, let me put together this baby's present too so they can just be put together. Oh, what do y'all doing for the weekend? I've been filming all week, so more than likely, I this will be two vlogs. I try to post the other one up over the weekend. I don't see how people vlog and post every day, or even Wee! every two days. I can't do that. Yeah, it's a little red right now. I guess it's okay. It's okay. Look, we got a box. Yeah, you need to. You want some of these chips? Yeah. 
You miss not, child. It was Stalin's birthday today. It was? Oh, 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 wait a minute. That's my box. Let's see what's inside. Get down, baby. I don't want to hurt you something. <clears throat> what did you learn today? Tell me one thing that you learned. Um, you learned about taste, tasting, and, and we had, and that's how we got that taste. So, so, what does gummy bears taste like? They All right. taste sweet. Saltanicles. So this will be coming up pretty soon, y'all. It tastes sweet. And then, oh, it's hot. And then what? Yeah, then what they gave is dark chocolate. So what they so what? And what? As soon as he the whole thing, they spit and he spit it out in the napkin, completely out. And he spit and spit. So what? What does dark dark chocolate taste like, then, baby? What type? Yeah. Bitter. He said yuck. Bitter. Or it bitter. tastes bitter. Trash. All right. This is the longest part of my hair. This is the crown. Let me see if I can come back. A stylist would say, and I would I would agree with them, but we ain't gonna do it. A stylist would say to cut that right there would need to be cut. But that's an inch, girl. And this is the longest part of my hair, and it's best to do this taunt. Is that how they say it? Taunt. It's best to have someone else to do it, cause see, I need to be straight. That's 19 inches in the front. She's about there. There. Oh, boo boo, you can help me, Lord child. This is about to be a mess. Boo boo, hold my hold my hair. Get my hair. Can you get my hair? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah. All right, now get the get the tape measure. Why am I having a five year old help me to y'all don't? I'm gonna even load this mess up. Let go of the hair, child. Since I had a couple of compliments on my last vlog for the video, which by the way, I had to put that vlog on private because I accidentally, I knew I, I had, I saw my video before and I saw my address and then one of my friends, my sub subbies, dropped me a message and said, girl, you may want to blur it out. I said, oh girl, I'm putting that thing on private. So that's what happened to my last vlog. I put it on private. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me show you how easy the style is. This is, the definition is on point. This is from Kinky, Kinky Tresses. I set my hair two or three days ago and all I did was um, unraveled. I have not separated. See if you guys can see that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, and I'm looking in my big mirror. All I'm gonna do, pull it back, but I'm not gonna get too, too, too tight. gonna kind of I wanted a little stretch because right now yeah and I have some goody stretchy bands here it is really that simple that's all it is that's it that's really all it is and I'm gonna take another one I mean you can leave it like this let me turn it around you can leave it like that if you want it, but I'm not. I'm going to take another one, and it's just like a messy bun. I don't even like it like that. I'm going to have it like that, and just take another one. And that's it, y'all. I don't care about laying down no edges. I pull this down here. Girl, this is, this is inspired by Norman Bates, mama. That's you know who. And that's it. That simple, real quick style. This is what it looks like, close up. Ready to play? Ryan Little. <laughs>
it is hot. My thermostat reads 103 inside my car. We just got out of the party. You have fun, baby? Mm -hmm. That was a lot of fun. It was a little questionable because this area is a little sketchy. It's like, it's like on the outskirts of Phoenix. Like one side of the bridge is Phoenix and the other side is Paradise Valley, which is a little more, um, a little higher socioeconomic status, girl. But yeah, this side is a little sketchy and it's a little rundown. But this goes to show that it really doesn't matter. You know, it's what they offer in the service that counts. And these kids had a good time. I don't know, the food at these places are hit and miss. So we are at Raisin Cane. It's two o'clock and I haven't had anything to eat since eight. So I'm gonna so when I eat at places like this, I don't eat all my food one and I got the oh uh, you're going the wrong way, sir. Hell, I got the kids meal. Yeah, and he James gonna eat his regular bread. So y'all we had fun there. It was a lot of fun. But what I was gonna say, I felt bad for the mom because she invited two two classes full of kids. Only only Eight kids showed up. She invited 40 kids and eight kids showed up. He's like, invite everybody from my old school and my new school. That's what he said. Girl, his birthday not to January. I don't even know why I'm talking about that. But anyway. Please, um, 